Hey guys, Shannon from Shannon's Engineering here. Just thought I'd show you our latest and greatest. This is our um, latest canopy and tray setup. The tray is about six, probably nine months old now. The owner has already had that fitted previously and we've just finished his canopy now. Um, he lives in a state, so we had to wait for him to, uh, for COVID and all that before we could finish the canopy and put that on for him, but that's all done now. So what we've got here is our new canopy with our Lunar Leg system. Uh, it's removable via some electric rams built into the canopy and that way you don't need to have the um, manual winding jacks connected to these legs. So these are a fixed leg. They are telescopic and they do have a couple of hole settings down here. As you can see, they have nylon bushes built into them too, so they don't rattle in this join. So I'm giving that a shake now, solid as. And like I said, a couple of adjustments and then a closing hole down there. So that takes up less room when stored. Um, the canopy is fully self-sufficient. It has 200 uh, watts of solar on the roof um, and a 200 amp hour lithium battery inside. There's a fridge, uh, a couple of other goodies in there, but the canopy itself can basically stay like that. Um, I would not put a tent on there and sleep on it. It's a bit wobbly for that, but um, only because of this square tube join here. There's a bit of play in that. Um, so as I said, a little bit wobbly for sleeping on, but you can still use it and work out of it or whatever. Take it camping with you and allow yourself to take the car bush, go get the firewood, go get the milk and the beers without having your canopy, pack up your awning, what's, what, what not. Um, the canopy is raptor coated on the outside with some color coded doors. We've got our internal lighting with a uh, optional uh, amber mode. So it's good for the mozzies and the moths inside carpeted floor and our 12 volt inner drive system here it's got a 2600 watt inverter on that side and we've also got the um, Makita and Milwaukee chargers there this guy's a tradie so he wants to use it for work and put his power tools in there he also wants to run a drop saw off the inverter so on this side oh here's the umbilical cord this umbilical cord is longer than normal because we've got the tire carrier there so we just got to go over the top of the tire carry into the top of the headboard. In this plug here, we've got our rear view camera, uh, central locking, uh, internal lighting power, and this big fat one there is used for charging the charger, or charging the battery via the charger. Up the top there, you can see we've got some steady lights around the eave, and we've also got some neat steady floodlights here on a gimbal. So this gimbal is an amazing idea. Um, you can turn these around at any angle. Great for camping or full driving. Wherever you set them, they stay. So when they're done up tight, they do not rattle. Folding ladder at the back, um, so you can access the roof. And we do have, like I said earlier, our camera. Camera at the back there, that's infrared and color, which is already connected to the stereo inside. On this side, we've got our Dometic Waco uh, CRX80. Um, that's been sponsored to us by My Generator. So um, if you guys are looking for good sales, get on, on top of that, all online as well. And tucked in there, we've got our 2600 watt inner drive inverter. The controls for that are here. So you can control the inverter from in here. You don't have to get to anything there. Uh, the power point for it is here with a breaker. So easily accessible there. Just plug your power tools into that or a, a power board. You can run a power board wherever you want. I suppose. Now we've got the LED lights and the floodlights. So that is obviously these lights here um, cranking away and same on the other side. So they're independently switched left to right. Uh, quite empty on the inside, obviously a little fridge barrier there. The fridge does have a freezer as well. Um, I have one of these myself and it's perfect for two people, probably even more, but Obviously we chucked a couple of beers in there as well, so that's, that's actually on right now, which is good. Um, around this side, like I showed you, we do have our 12 volt system there, which is easily accessible. We've got a couple of breakers there for any any um, high voltage stuff, and even a spare one. We've got a spare one there for any other stuff the owner wants to put in himself at a later date. At least we've done all the groundwork for the wiring, so there's room to expand there. Um, we've got the lights again on this side, USB seek socket, cigarette socket there. Um, now I've turned the inverter on, these things here should be on right now, which is good. 
Um, we've got a battery reset button. If your battery goes below 5%, the uh, Enerdrive battery has a safety feature built in to turn off itself, saving itself from self-destruction. And to, to reset the battery, all you gotta do is have your car running, the canopy connection plug on, hold that button for five seconds and it will jump start the battery and bring it back to life. And then it will start the charging process by the chargers up there. You can see we've got the AC charger up there on the left. That one there is for this thing here. This is a AC inlet port, which will be used um, for shore power or in your garage, caravan park, or anything like that. That will just um, basically um, charge this whole system by 240 volts. And that way you just have unlimited power as well. So if you've got that fridge running in your garage at home, you can just plug it into the wall and um, the battery will never go flat. But with 200 watts of solar on the roof, I'm pretty sure this will be safe to say that you're not gonna run out of power. Um, or if you want to start your car, it's obviously going to charge automatically while you're driving. So that's pretty much it for our little canopy video. Hope you liked the video. Um, it's short and sweet, um, straight to the point. I uh, hope I covered everything. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm also going to do a little video of me um, uh, showing you how the canopy comes on and off with the legs and the rams. Um, where's the button? buttons right here I don't know if you can hear that the rams are going up and down by this button so no manual lifting like I said and uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching